Dad, I've reached the age of 18 and I'm dating now and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, what you think you're a man or something? Well you can get out of my house if you want to start dating women without my prior consent to who and or what you are dating. You are my son. But, Dad listen. Hear me out. I might not be your son. You see. I noticed a couple of weeks ago that you had an accidental nocturnal emission in your underwear and so I took it upon myself to get your semen analyzed by a technologist at a nearby laboratory. Well, did you get the results? What did they say about my dang on semen and what does anal have to do with any of this? And you said it was a technologist that did the analysis? Was this a certified or licensed technologist and are you sure it wasn't just a technician? Dad, really? None of that is neither here nor there. The real question is why haven't I been allowed to date females prior to becoming 18 years old and last time I checked you wanted me to wait until serving some years in the French Foreign Legion? Isn't that absurd? Okay is anybody gonna talk about the fact that you were in your dad's underwear and how did you know he had a wet dream? That could have been icing or whipped cream or something from foreplay with your mother or something. How dare you violate your dad's privacy or private parts for that matter? See those bars I just dropped, biatch? Dad, it doesn't really make sense especially since you didn't have a problem with me dating girls when I was 15 years old and you see how good I turned out. I'm just fine. I'm sure it's okay to let my younger brother date, but as he said, he's 18 now. What are you going to do, other than kick him out of the house out of spite? I know it's your house, your rules, but come on, man. I hope you like black women cause I sure would like to put it on your fine ass. What's your sign, young man? My sign? Oh I'm a Vagittarius and not to be confused with the astrological sign Sagittarius which is also a constellation in the southern sky. You look good by the way and I just love a black woman that wears her natural hair and you also appear to be wearing little to no makeup at all. A plus for me. I like your lips, too. I can't wait to find out just how much I like those other lips. Boy you're crazy over here getting all fresh with me. I got a white girlfriend that likes black guys. Are you willing to give her a go, also? Or is your preference just for black women? Oh no not so much or nothing of the sort, actually. I'm like a one size fits all shirt or ball cap or you could even say I come in all shapes and sizes and colors. I don't discriminate when it comes to women. I penetrate. Black, white, Asian, Hispanic slash Latina, Arab or Indian. I'm even down to have intercourse with aliens both blue and green. I really don't mind. Well this white girl right here will let you hit it from the back, but I gotta wear a mask or I won't feel comfortable doing it with you, but you don't have to wear a condom. That's what the mask is for. Mr. Do you have any candy for us little kids? We're two nerdy friends that are studying astrophysics and applied mathematics, differential equations aka difficult as hell equations in geometry, so don't call me a gangster. If you water me, I'll grow. So I'm not a G. I'm a tree. See those bars I just dropped? Biatch? G. I'm a tree. Hee hee. Not to be confused with geometry. I have some candy for you little rascals. You young whippersnappers. Better yet, get out of here. We're having adult conversation. Yeah, that's it. Scram. Did you want to hook up with me and my twin sister? She and I just turned 19 years old. We were born two hours apart, so I'm the oldest. So naturally I should get to go first and give her the sloppy seconds. We are identical twins, so the only way that you can tell us apart is that we are always dressed different from each other. Notice the extreme difference. We will probably swap clothes tomorrow, so you'll just have to adjust from there, but you're getting both of us as we are a package deal, and speaking of package, how big is your package? We don't have any walls left after the frat parties we've been going to lately. Those guys on the college campuses. Notice plural, but anyway they are animals. Yo, little doggy, you need to get with these two girls man, but listen it's gonna cost you a little bit of dinero cause I'm their pimp. Take note of my swagger and pimp juice. Nah I'm just kidding. They aren't pros. They're hoes. I have a severe case of halitosis, so I sing karaoke with a toothbrush. Isn't that lovely? I'm an older black man that has tattoos for no reason and I don't even know what these things say or mean and I even got my dingling and all five of my ball sacks tatted the fudge up. Whiskey, tango, foxtrot. I got PTSD from the military serving with Rusty in the Navy and now I'm a part-time sugar daddy. That's a different kind of PTSD for ya. I can't even pitch a tent and I have premature ejaculation episodes when I watch scary movies and TV shows that are in syndication. Sometimes I cry when my doctor does my prostate examination. Not because I'm sad or his fingers are way too fat and long, but because I know that this exam is every 3 to 5 years. I have to wait that long? We're quadruplets making different faces, so you can tell us apart. We could have just worn different clothes or hairstyles or something but oh no let's continue with the fudgery like a bunch of dipshitticuses. Dipshitticuses. Dipshitticuses? Dipshitticuses. That sounds funny but I'm a dipshitticus so never mind. Back to the dipshitticusery. I'm a squirrel that can't climb a tree. I'm still waiting for my nuts to drop. 
Now remember, young man. No means no. Unless you turn it upside down. Then it's on, meaning you can have your way with any woman. You just have to turn her on. No. I'm a good-looking light brown-skinned black woman that's got a natural hairdo. Do you want to hook up with me? Boy, I'll rock your world. I mean, just look at my rack and the rest of my figure all slim and trim and immaculate as fudge. My touch might cause you to climax, boy. And wait until I sit on your nostrils and make you breathe through your ears because your mouth will be too busy. Boy let me get out of here over here about to rob the cradle and shit. All this competition with these other women got me hot right now. I want you all to myself boy. If you don't choose me, I'ma tape a bunch of pennies to my knuckles and punch you in the face and knock some sense into your head. Then, while you're out and unconscious, I'ma put the snatch on your sideburns boy and then give you a steaming hot BJ and no, that doesn't stand for Bachelor of Journalism. Ladies, I really appreciate the love. I'd like to actually try all of you. I really don't have a preference for race or nationality. As I said before, I come in all shapes, sizes and colors as I don't discriminate, but rather penetrate. My dad kept me pent up in the closet for all these years and now I'm free to explore the world of women. Black, white, Asian, Latina, Indian and Arab and all of the different types and colors of extraterrestrial females out there whose boxes are literally out of this world. My dad and I want to watch. Is that okay? I always wanted to meet MJ's orangutan and chew some gum at the same time, but I don't want to blow bubbles. I'm not a hater or nothing, but what's so special about this young man? I mean I'm a little older, but my back is still good and I still get morning wood and even afternoon and evening wood. I'm just saying I mean I'm funny I mean, take for instance the word, commoner. Use it in a sentence for me? I don't look down on the little people. I don't care if she's not of noble rank and privilege. I'll still bone her without a condom and, commoner mouth and snatch. See what I just did there? I gots to give it to you youngin. I didn't think you'd respond in such a nearly succinct manner and precisely what I was looking for, but I just didn't think you had it in you. Well you know the saying, young, dumb and full of, well you know the rest. Speaking of cum. You came out of my ball sack and I don't care that you're a newly minted 18 year old strapping young man. You are still my son and you will respect my authority. And by the way, I never approved of you having sexual intercourse with Asian, white, Indian, Arab and Latino women, so get that out of your head right now or expect that I'll be deporting your black ass back to Africa where none of these women exist. Dad, literally every nationality is in Africa, which is a continent that contains so many distinct countries on its landmass or within its borders, not to mention islands like Madagascar and the archipelago Cape Verde. And Dad why does Frosty like to have intercourse with women during the height of winter? He wants to go snowballs deep and he wants to keep his cool, so he doesn't have a meltdown. Okay the next time a woman talks to me in a bar, I'm going to kindly lift up my hand and tell her, I'm sorry, but I have a girlfriend and she's jealous. She also <laughs> suffers from seizures. I have a milky white medication that makes her seizures stop, almost instantly, but every now and then I have to re-medicate her, so the breakthrough seizures stop. She has a twin sister, also. And sometimes they have seizures at the same time. Both of them are gainfully employed as massage therapists. And it's appropriate that she's my girlfriend, because she's always handling my money. Don't tell me chivalry is dead. I'm tired of hearing that. Just the other day I held the door open for several women. It's not my fault that the shaft had no elevator in it and we were on the 10th floor. That's not my fault. It's the thought that counts. Chivalry isn't dead, but those bitches are. LOL. <laughs>